New at 6, the Tennessee Environmental Council planted hybrid American chestnut trees at Panther Creek State Park today. It's part of an effort to bring back the once thriving tree in a new way. The trees once dominated our region, but a foreign disease and blight wiped them out in the early 1900s. 10 News reporter Katie Emmons spoke to volunteers planting those saplings today. Every hole shovel and every sapling planted is a step in the right direction for the American chestnut tree. Naturalists have been trying to replace the trees that died about 100 years ago, but nothing has worked over the years. This sapling may be small now, but by the time it's fully grown, it could be as high as 100 feet. And it's been said to compromise 25 to 30 percent of the forest. Um, so the forests today look a lot different than they did say 100 years ago. The planting at parks across the state is an experiment to see if the hybrid version of the chestnut tree can grow and survive. So this initiative does involve a hybrid which is mostly American, but it has the blight resistance of the Chinese chestnut. In the early 1900s, a disease and blight spread and killed the American chestnut species in the United States. Since then, environmental groups have been trying to find a way to bring it back. What we were trying to find is that tree that eventually will replace the old trees. Because its legacy was a big one, especially in the Smokies. They used to be one of the main sources of Hardwood. Although these volunteers have never seen a live native American chestnut, they're hoping the hybrids will live for generations to come. That's one of the main reasons I do it is to watch the growth. In Morristown, Katie Inman, 10 News. That group is planting trees in five parks across the state. The public is encouraged to stop at the groves to water those trees and learn a bit more about them. The organization will plant more trees in Crossville tomorrow.